The body is where the sound resonates from once the string is set in motion and we control the parameters from the body module over here on the edit page. And it also adds a filtering effect and it depends on the size and shape of the body that's modeled. To start with, we have different type selectors located at the top and they allow us to choose between different body geometries and shapes. So I'm gonna play you a part here with an acoustic guitar sound and a simple accompaniment and I'll switch through the shapes and you'll hear the different qualities they have. Now, in addition, for each body type, we can also determine the size, and we use these size selectors. We have tiny, small, medium, large, and huge. Now, the idea is that reducing the size of the body shifts the frequency response towards the higher frequencies, so the smaller sizes are brighter, and as we increase the size, there's a shift more towards the lower frequencies for a warmer type sound. very effective at shaping the sound from this section of the interface. Now, the decay time of the vibrations is controlled with the decay knob, and it's increased the more the decay knob is turned clockwise. So that's nice to get a nice bright sound with a small size and yet a decay adds a kind of warmth to it. Now the mix knob is used to adjust the ratio of the signal that's coming from the string module over here and the filtered sound from this body module. So when this is up, this as it is now, this is influencing the sound of the guitar. But as we dial this down, we're gonna hear only the settings that are from here and this will be irrelevant. So none of those changes makes any difference, but I can blend this output with this output with the mix knob. And then finally, we have some simple tone controls where we can cut lows or cut highs. So that's the body module. 